welcome back to my channel, it is your girl Dachi, and today I'm coming at you with some helpful hints and tips on how to come out. How to come out is anything from L to G to B to T to Q to plus. That took me about 10 goes. Now before we get started, if you are new here or not already subscribed, then it would mean the absolute well to me if you could go and subscribe to my channel down below and click that bell so you don't miss another episode of mine because I would hate for you to miss out on some really good topics that I'm going to be covering in the next couple of weeks. If you enjoyed this video then please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up because then I know to do more of these in the future. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, now I know some of you watching this won't be part of the LGBTQ plus community, however if you are and you know, you're closeted at the moment, then I really hope these tips are going to help you. The things I'm about to mention are just some of the things that really helped me in my, not only my self-discovery, but also coming out. And I mean, I'm seriously not saying that they're gonna work for you or they're gonna work for everyone. But I sincerely hope I can help at least one of you. If they do work for one of you, then honestly, that is the ultimate goal. I just wanna use this platform to help you guys in the LGBTQ plus community. I seriously just want this channel to be me helping you guys through tough times. Now I'd also like to start by saying everyone in the LGBTQ plus community has gone through to some extent what you are going through, exactly what you are going through right now. So don't stress, we're going to get through this together. Now even before you come out, there are some things that you should definitely take into consideration for not only your safety, but your well-being, health, everything. The first thing I want to say to you guys is you don't actually have to come out. A lot of people don't. You don't need to have a grand grandiose announcement where you invite all your friends, all your family, all your extended family, all your second cousins and third uncles and, and to your house to announce that you are gay or any part of the LGBTQ plus community. That is seriously not the case. Although in saying this, if that would make you really comfortable and that's exactly what you want to do, then that's cool too. You don't have to announce your sexuality or gender to the world if you don't want to. It's all up to you. Seriously, whatever makes you the most comfortable. If you want to wait for a bit, that's cool. If you want to come out now, that's cool too. It's seriously up to you. And don't let anyone force you to come out if you're not ready as well, which leads into my second tip. Don't force it. There's no rush, take your time. Everyone takes time to figure out who they are, their identity. Finding yourself is a process and it's something that most people go through, even if they're not figuring out their sexuality. Figuring out who you are as a person, what you want from life, what makes you happy, what you want to do with your life. That's all part and parcel of figuring yourself out and it takes time. Go at your own pace. Don't stress yourself out. So please don't let anyone, including yourself, force you to come out if you're not comfortable with it. Now the next thing I wanna mention is your social climate. It is very important to consider this before coming out. Is it safe to come out in your social climate? And by social climate, I mean your family, your surroundings, your school, your country, the state you live in. In Australia, being gay is okay, and more and more people are coming out. It's okay to be gay in Australia, but there are definitely some countries in the world where it is less okay, and I would hate for you to be put in a situation which compromises your safety, health and well-being or even your life. So definitely make sure your social climate is okay with you being gay. Now another thing, and this is the biggest thing that really helped me through, was don't feel pressured to put a label on it. If you're still unsure of what you want to label yourself or whether you want to label yourself at all, that is 100% okay. Some people go through their whole lives without even labeling their gender or sexuality and that's completely fine. And I just want you to remember there is absolutely no pressure to put a label on yourself. I know that society makes it seem that way, but just don't. If you don't want to, don't. And if you don't know what you are yet, then don't feel pressured to figure that out. There's no time constraints on this. Some love the idea of having a label. That's cool. And some hate the idea of it. That's cool too. It is seriously completely up to you. Just know that you have the option. So with all of that being said, and you feel ready and comfortable to come out in a safe social climate, then start small. You know, drop hints here and there to family and friends. They'll get the idea soon enough. And if they don't, here's what you do. Start by telling someone very close to you. So whether it be one of your siblings, your brother, your sister, your best friend, someone who you know you can trust and you can feel comfortable talking about your sexuality and gender with and then you can go from there. Now something that I want you guys to remember is that our parents and our grandparents were from a different generation. Generation where it was certainly not okay to be gay and it's not their fault just for being brought up in a different era. Their social climate was very different back then. So if you come out to your parents or your grandparents and they're a little bit shocked, don't get stressed out if they have pre-existing prejudices towards anything in the LGBTQ plus community. Unfortunately, that's normal for them and their age. But in saying that, many adults are very progressive 
supportive, including my parents, which I am so lucky and thankful for. So they might not be. Your parents or family members may be just as progressive as mine. So just remember that and also give them time. Time is key. Give your family and friends time to digest what you've just told them. It's okay if they don't get it or accept it straight away. Give them time to process things. Everyone needs time to process things. Heck, you probably needed some time to process your sexuality or gender as well. I know I did. And another thing to remember is everyone's different regardless of age. You may get some people who act shocked and you may get some people who act indifferently. You just need to be prepared for an array of different reactions and just keep an open mind and understand that it does take time to process things and that you yourself took a while to understand who you were and figure yourself out. Another tip is don't feel like you have to change yourself to fit in with the stereotype of a label. For example, if you are a femme lesbian, don't feel like you have to change what you do, how you act, what you wear to look more masculine, butch lesbian type. But on the other hand, if you really want to embrace your sexuality and you've been femme but you've been hiding the fact that you actually want to dress more masculine, more butch, then go ahead and do that too. Seriously, dress how the heck you want. The same goes for guys. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on femme lesbians and I do understand how you might feel like, well, if I dress like this and wear makeup and wear dresses, how is anyone gonna know I'm gay? Like, how are other girls gonna know I'm gay? And I understand it, like, I totally get that, but they'll know. Seriously, I want you to remember that whatever you identify as, you can dress and look however you please. So yeah, just to recap, make sure you have a safe social climate to come out in. Don't force yourself or don't let anyone force you to come out. Only come out when you're ready and don't feel the need to label yourself. Seriously, there is no need. And when you do come out, take it slow. And seriously, there is no time limit on coming out. It can take ages, it can take ages for you to figure out your sexuality and for some it just doesn't take long at all. It seriously all depends on the individual and please remember there is no rush to come out. I am here to support you guys always, that is seriously what I want to use this platform for. I am here to support you and I always will be. If you have a question for me, if you're struggling with your sexuality or gender and you want to ask me some questions because you're not quite ready to talk to anyone else, then please feel free to do so in the comments below or contact me on my social media, I'll have them up on the screen now. Um, I really want to help you guys, I know it's a really tough time and it, it's not something you want to be going through alone. And yeah, comment anything down below else that you want. I love, love, love reading comments and receiving comments from you guys. It seriously fills my heart up. And yeah, I will definitely be looking at them, replying to all of them. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up so I know to do more similar, informative LGBT videos like this in the future. Oh my gosh, this video is going up on Monday. Guys, I'm getting my top braces off on Thursday. Ah, how exciting. But I'll be vlogging it all. So... Yeah. Okay, cool. See you guys in my next vid on Friday.